Hey, 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 yay! This is Addict Pastor Kent. And <clears throat> Twelve Steps of Life. Through abstinence and through working the 12 steps of Narcotics Anonymous, our lives have become useful. Before coming to Narcotics Anonymous, our lives were centered around using. For the most part, we had little energy left for our jobs, relationships, and activities. We serve only one our addiction. The 12 steps in Narcotics Anonymous provided a simple way to return to our lives around. We start by clean, staying clean. The day as we find that we have the energy to pursue other interests, as we will become truly employees, hobbies, and re creation seem more involved through participation in Narcotics Anonymous. Narcotics Anonymous does not promise that we will find great jobs, loving relationships, or fill our life. But when we work the 12 steps to the best of our ability, we find that we can become the type of people we are capable of finding employable, sustain loving relationships, and love others. We stop serving our disease. We begin serving God and others. The 12 steps are the key to transformation our lives. I will have the wisdom to use the 12 steps of my life and the courage to grow in recovery. I will practice the program to become a responsible, productive member of society. Now, the 12 steps are very simple. Um, you know, when I first came in to recovery, I realized the meaning of the 12 steps. And I broke them down because I can make anything complicated. So I broke them down to simplicity. Step one through three are all about finding God again. Because when I came into Narcotics Anonymous, I had no idea who I was. Somebody asked me, they said, who are you? And I just looked at them dumbfounded. I had no idea what they were talking about. I had no idea who I was or what I was about or anything about myself. No. Steps four through six are all about finding self and having self-awareness and realizing the wrongs I've done to other people. And the important thing about doing a proper step four is four takes us through five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Step seven through nine are all about 
our relationship to others. You can use this in a love relationship, in a sex relationship, in a family relationship, in a friend relationship. If you use these steps, you won't go wrong. No. And step 10 through 12 help us to hone our ability to know and understand and comprehend what our God is saying to us. It gives us that two-way street. You see, one of the hardest journeys that I ever had to do in Narcotics Anonymous was make the trip from here to here. Hardest trip I ever had. I've done 1,200 mile trips. I've done, you know, camping trips, hike trips, 25, 45 miles, you know, with a 45 pound bag on my back. Survival training. I did survival training. I was in the, the woods for a week with three days rations. And I had to find a way to live that one week because there was nobody coming back for me for that week. You know? I had to find that way. I had to live and learn to eat on the land. You know? Very hard. Very complicated. You know? I had to keep myself hydrated. You know? And this right here is called the basic text. You know? This right here, this simple little book. You know? It's a book. It means nothing, right? It means absolutely nothing. It's a book, right? Yeah, they're books. Really? This is my rock when I first came to Narcotics Anonymous. I couldn't focus, you know, and there's small little stories in here, you know, a daily reprieve from my sick mentality, crazy, uncivilized mind, you know, insane thinking, you know. You know it's not okay. To look at a person who says something you don't like, and the first thing you think about is, I'm gonna pop you right in the head. I'm gonna knock your block off. I'm gonna slit your throat. It's not okay to think that. But as an addict, when I first came into recovery, that's exactly the way I thought. A man gives me a hug, I'm like, you freaking queer. You know? I, I thought really wacky, man. I had a lot of garbage in my head. My dad taught me racist slurs, okay? Uh, through my life, I hung out with racist, bigotry people. I was homophobic as anybody. For the first six months, I read this every day. It's all I could do. Then my sponsor, he said, I want you to get the basic text. What do you mean? I got to read? Me, you got to read? You have to put stuff in. How do you get stuff in here? You know? How do you get stuff in here? You put it in by reading No. That's what we have to do. We have to put in proper stuff. And these two books, will help you find your way back to reality, you know,
It's important that we do this. Oh, I can't stress it enough. May God keep you safe and sound. And I'm always online. If you see me online, please feel free to connect with me. My Facebook link is on this page. Please, if you like this stuff that I do, please subscribe to the channel. And every time I do a topic or a message, you will get notification in your email. So you won't have to keep checking the channel. May God bless and keep you. And I will see you soon.